Hi, this is Melanie, Movie Maven Gal for Pardesi. I've already done a spoiler-free review. It was me rambling on basically for seven minutes or so immediately after I watched Spider yesterday. And I have been thinking about it nonstop since then. I wrote out my thoughts on my blog, moviemavengal.com. And so I have a spoiler full review there and I'm gonna discuss some of what I have been thinking about with this film. So if you have not seen the film, this is your last warning. This review, this video will be full of spoilers. So please go watch the other one if you've never seen Spider because I think you should watch it without me spoiling all the fun plot points. Okay, so that's out of the way. Last warning, I wanna have a discussion and, and in the other review I said, don't leave any spoilers, but I want to hear your thoughts about the movie in the comments, if you have seen it, and what you thought. Because what struck me most was I was really excited by the film. I was like, wow, this has a really good script. You know, Murugadas has given us so many things, elements to the film that I felt were really fresh and different for an Indian film. And I liked Mahesh Babu's acting. I liked most of his character in the film. And I, you know, while it dragged and got a little uh, out there with the disaster movie stuff in the second half, when I walked out of the theater, as I mentioned in my other review, there was a group of young men who were Mahesh Babu fans because, I mean, why else would you be there at 2 o'clock in the afternoon to see the first show if you're not? And they were disappointed. And I kept thinking to myself, why were they so disappointed? Why did we have such a different experience coming out of this film? And Kartik saw the film last night and he was also disappointed. Um, he thought the second half was boring. So I was like, why, why this reaction? And I think what it is, the villain in this film is the star. I read Barwood Wood's Rangan's review of the film today and it crystallized a lot of the things that have been swirling in my mind and he put it out there because they definitely referenced the Joker from the Christopher Nolan Batman films and what um, the, the actor Surya, he's got the mask um, at one point like the Joker and he's doing this scary video. So very much like that film, the star of this film is really the villain. It's like Dar, <laughs> you know, the star is not Sunny Diol, the star is not necessarily Mahesh Babu, but this villain, because he's the most interesting character in the whole movie. And that was fresh and exciting, and it was a new face to me, and I thought that was awesome. And the guy was such a fantastic actor. Um, it was very much, while I was watching it, even though I didn't really recognize the cloth mask thing that he was wearing as being a reference to the Joker, the way he was acting, how he was an out of control villain that was not someone that you could bargain with. This was someone that the backstory of this villain with the childhood and that child actor was fantastic. It was so, cr possibly the creepiest evil child character ever that I have ever seen. And it was so brilliant. I have ne the moment that he was born in his parents' hut where they lived on the you know edge of poverty in this graveyard, the moment he is born, the first sound he hears is the wails and cries of people at a funeral. And that's what he wants. I mean, obviously he's also a sociopath, but he craves the cries in the morning and the anguish and the tears of people. That's what he gets off on. And this little kid is at those funerals and he is fake crying. I mean, the kid was a good enough actor to, you can see he's fake crying and smiling like, oh my God, they're really wailing at this one. So creepy. And then it carries over to the adult actor and you can just see it in his eyes. He's eating it up. Everything that his whole uh, purpose in life is to make people cry, make people mourn, make people weep. And how he, it just escalates in the scale of what he's gonna do to make that happen. To the point of ridiculousness of sending a boulder down the street towards a school. Okay. 
But the point is, this is not someone that's after money. He's not doing a bank heist. No, you can't reason with this villain. And that was really, I mean, we've had sociopaths before. We've had serial killers before. But the whole setup of this villain was one of the best things about the script. I have to give kudos to Murugadas for writing such a great villain. So I think what these young men and other people that I've seen are disappointed in the film is that Mahesh Babu in this film is playing a character. He is actually acting as a character. And as Barad Wadrangan's review said, he's the straight man. He's the straight man playing the foil to this out of control, insane villain who is the histrionic one and who gets all the best lines. He's, he is kind of dimming his star power and playing it, actually playing, acting and playing a character. And I think that was what they couldn't, you know, I think they also had issues with the story and how it kind of got crazy in the second half. But I think at essence, what the disappointment may have been for these Mahesh Babu fans is Mahesh Babu wasn't Mahesh Babu. You know, he wasn't that larger than life, uh, winking at his stardom character that he's been in so many of his films. He didn't have actually a huge hero entrance. And, you know, when I thought back on it, that was one thing that Barrowrudge mentioned in his review, that he could have had a better hero entrance. And I was like, you know, that was right. And he explained in a voiceover what his job was as this digital analyst at the, um, is it the CBI? I don't know. It's like the FBI, I guess, you know, and so he's done, he's like a software guy and, he, and, and, and also the, the message of the film that Maruga does, and that it was explicitly said in this speech at the end by Mahesh, which I felt like was really preachy and too much, but the point was to do good for others and not expect um, medals or awards or you know you're just doing it out of the goodness of humanity and that was the message of the film that you should do for others without expecting rewards in return and that the community comes together he wasn't just a guy fighting 20 gundas with machetes you know what I mean he had a community network of people that worked with him to save all the potential victims of crimes there was a brilliant scene when his mother was almost being killed by the villain and then you know he couldn't get there in time to save her so he dispatches every delivery thing that he can think of an ambulance arrives a pizza delivery a, you know like everything that you know a repairman like everybody rushes to the house because he's he's using technology in an interesting way you know to community save and then there was an explicit thing which i've seen many people criticize in the second half where to find the villain who is in hiding he uses the aunties he uses the middle-aged women who are watching a soap opera and pretends there's a contest and he has them climbing on roofs and doing all these crazy things the sequence maybe went on a little too long but again it was a fresh idea <laughs> i mean it was something that was new but you had mahesh babu not running and bursting in to save the day you had him on a headset talking and directing all these aunties to do the action which is just kind of the opposite of what i think all of these mahesh babu fans went in to see there still was great action scenes there was still the final fist fight with the villain but i don't know if it just you know in their subconscious they're like they didn't get what they were looking for in a mahesh babu you know film with a larger than life star you know he, he was an actor playing a character and i thought he acted very well but again it was more subdued than some of his other roles so another highlight for me was the background score the background score was by harris jayaraj and i thought it was exceptional i have a thing about thrillers not having tense and scary enough move, uh, music because you really need that music to set the tone and keep you on the edge of your seat. I've watched recently some Malayalam films and they really let me down in the music department. So that is just something that I'm 
attuned to. And I thought this was a really good score. It really added so much tension and drive to the energy of the film. Hats off to Harris because I thought that was one of the best things about the film. The acting by Raquel Preet Singh, the heroine, she was adorable. I really liked her. She didn't get, the romance track did not get a significant amount of time in the film. It was basically used as a comic relief. Now, in a film like Ajini, Murugadas gave a lengthy amount of time to the romance track, and then that made the emotional impact of what happens in Gaijini all the, the more potent and just really, I mean, just hit me with a wallop when it finally happened. And that is one thing that was missing in this script. I really enjoyed the roller coaster ride that I was on, and Mahesh Babu had somewhat of a range of emotions in that first half where he's able to save some victims but then there's that one young girl and then the policewoman that he sends to check on her at the empty house. And then the next morning he finds out that they were not only murdered, but chopped up. He just, it's like a physical blow to him. He just, he can't even, you know, he wasn't able to save them. He feels like, you know, obviously responsible that he sent this young policewoman in to danger. So that was like an emotional hit. But as far as other emotional beats like that, which I normally look for in Indian cinema, even if it's an action movie, usually there's a, an emotional wallop for me in the second half. And I don't know that this script really fully had that in the ending and in the second half. Now, one thing that kind of shocked me about the script and the kind of moral complexity to Mahesh Babu's character. And this is not a script like Vikram Veda, where you're really examining who who is good and who is evil and what are their motives, where you have, you know, a cop and a criminal, but who is acting in, you know, the best moral compass, you know what I mean? And instead, you have, you have Mahesh Babu, like I was on board with him, doing all this digital stuff and doing his own investigation, like I was on board for that. But the moment that he held the villain's brother at gunpoint in front of a crowd and asked the crowd, like, what should I do? Should I kill him? And then shot him in the head to try to flush out the criminal. That was really shocking. I mean, maybe it's just my American sensibilities. What did you guys think about that moment? Because I felt like it's not like the brother was trying to escape and there was a scuffle and the gun went off. It was deliberately to the head. It wasn't, I'm trying to flush out you criminal. I'm going to shoot your brother in the leg and he's still going to live, but you're going to hear him scream. And I just, oh, that was a tough moment for me. And it wasn't really examined. It was just like it happened. And then, and then we had the moment of seeing the villain's face and he had the little tear and then he just walked away. But, you know, there was no repercussions for Mahesh Babu's character at all. It just was glossed by. There was just that one off note to that point in the script that, I don't know, it just didn't sit well with me, especially the more I think about it as I've come home and been thinking about the plot. Because there's so many other good things about this plot and this script, and then that was just like, Ugh, did you really have to go there? So let me know what you thought about that. Now, again, I think the first half of the film was really great. Some other people I have seen complain online about the backstory of the villain slowing things down. That I thought was one of the best parts of the movie. I wouldn't have cut any of that. I thought that was great. Where things went off the rails for me a little bit was how it turned into a disaster movie. I mean, I understand you want to up that this villain, I mean, it's almost like he was a super villain of a superhero movie. Is he the Green Goblin or is he a regular serial killer? Like he's, he's you know, sending this boulder down. I mean, that was just kind of odd. And the, the special effects were not perfect. And so then that kind of took me out of the movie because I was noticing that they weren't perfect. Okay, it was a great 
scene with all these cars being crushed and Mahesh, Mahesh you know, driving this um, huge truck and trying to block the way. Okay, but I mean, like, maybe they could have had a big car chase or something. And that, you know, that could have been that set piece action part. You know, I don't know. I just, that was the beginning of where things kind of got crazy for me. And then it was believable about having a bomb in a hospital. And then that was very dynamic, that whole fight and the rescue and everything. Again, the CGI wasn't always fantastic, but... I thought, you know, what what do we, we've had so many disasters here recently in the United States where we've had hurricanes and we've had floods and we've had all of this. And, and what is the thing that's really scary is when a hospital has to be rapidly evacuated or, you know, you have, you have all of these helpless people that cannot run away. And it just in your, it's been so much in my mind um, you know, how vulnerable all those people are. That, that I think was an effective target and I, I didn't mind or think that that was crazy. It was the bolder thing that I thought was like, okay, that's a little crazy. So, but I did like the roller coaster action sequence in the first half. That's I think what the complaints of some of the men that I was talking to who had seen the film in the same theater that I did, that the script wasn't practical. And I think that's what they meant, that the story got kind of crazy in the second half. But the villain was so good, <laughs> I will I will forgive a lot to Murugadas because he has written a villain for the ages. Overall, I gave it, on my blog, I gave, on moviemavengal.com, I gave it three and a half out of five. I think it's an average to above average film. It's not my favorite Mahesh Babu film, but I liked that I was seeing something different, something fresh. It wasn't the standard, oh, we're having a big confrontation in an empty factory or whatever with the chains. I mean, it's like we've seen those kinds of scenes over and over and over again, or a, you know, a machete fight in a field with leaves that a villain hits the ground, the leaves, you know, it was something different. It looked different, it was a different setting, and the villain was something like we haven't seen uh, that often in Indian cinema, like a real serial killer sociopath. Let me know your thoughts. Tell me what were your favorite parts of the film. Please, if you like this, share, press the like button, and subscribe, and follow us on Twitter at PardaisyYT. This is a place where we can discuss in the comments, and you can put in all the spoilers you want. Uh, but don't share this with people that haven't seen the film. <laughs> so I want them to have the full experience. Anyway, I'll see you in the movies next time.